Hey folks, Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. And it turns out that calories in, calories out is a myth. This is not how the world works, man. It turns out that hormones and keto and magic. Wait, wait, no, no. No, Kaiko is not a myth. And the idea that it's a myth is BS all safe swearing for the end of this. So the idea that calories in, calories out is a myth is promulgated and propagated by various folks in the fitness industry. And it turns out that it's not a myth. So let's get into the realities. First, calories in, calories out is essentially covered in the mass energy conservation principle, AKA the first law of thermodynamics. And that first law of thermodynamics to my virgin eyes, perusing the literature, has yet to be broken ever in any system, definitely in a biological system, and in all studied systems so far. It just seems to be never, ever broke. But a lot of people say, but it doesn't apply in biological systems, and they're wrong. But how do they get this wrong? It turns out it's pretty tempting to get this wrong because of a couple of, oh, illusory things that can occur. Here are a few of them. First, when people say, look, I know Kaiko is real, calories in, calories out, Kaiko, Kaiko. It's like Geico, except no gecko, or you eat the gecko. Ooh, he's so nice and British. And all of a sudden, there's a pole through his body and uh, you're rotating him. And don't worry, he's already dead, but he's just like, just sizzling. He probably tastes pretty good. In any case, people say, look, I know Kaiko is real, but I like ate a crap ton of calories for months. I didn't gain weight. And then another time I ate almost nothing and I gained weight. And it turns out that people are just really bad on average, tons of exceptions, of course, and you're one of them, of accounting for diet and activity. And they're just really bad at tracking. So they'll think they ate something where in reality, they forgot it was this much versus that much. They mismeasured. They say they did 30 minutes of cardio, but they reduced their daily walking and they never measure that. So because they misconstrued it, they say, hey, look, you know, typical thing I'll see on social media is someone will be like, look, I've been in a surplus, but I'm not gaining. Uh, how do you know you're in a surplus? Assumption, 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 incorrect three assumptions. They're not really in a surplus. So that's definitely a thing that happens. Next, people assume a stable metabolic rate when that rate can actually change. For example, if you are low on thyroid hormones, it can look like calories in, calories out doesn't work, except the calories out part is way down because your thyroid stopped working. And when you get on thyroid medication, all of a sudden, calories in, calories out works again. It was never the calories in, calories out that was the problem. It was the fact that your hormonal systems were no longer pushing up that calories out part of the equation. Water weight. Another culprit, water weight is humongous in this case because people will assume that their body weight and tissue is the same thing, that they're reflexive proxy variables of each other. So what they'll say is, well, you know, I ate the, this many calories and I just didn't lose weight. All right, but is that because you're storing more body water over time because you're eating more salty foods, you're drinking more fluids? time of the month, who knows? Or is it because you're just not burning any more tissue? Because it's probably not the burning tissue stuff. When I've had clients in the past fix their body water issues, usually by starting to track their fluid and sodium and realizing, holy crap, I've just been increasing this for a while because I'm so hungry that I just drink a bunch of diet drinks because they're sugary and I want more of that. And I'm eating a bunch of salt and because it tastes good. And then it turns out I was gaining body water this whole time. And as soon as that flushed out, hey, I'd lost five pounds over the past five weeks, just like thermodynamics would have expected. Another thing 
is assuming a stability in digestion where there's definitely some flux going on. Some foods are harder or easier to digest, and there's not a one-to-one pairing of things that go into the mouth and things that end up getting anabolized into your tissues. And uh, I watched this, God, this was so painful. My wife and I listened to this podcast. Uh, It was like a major news outlet that has like a podcast where a reporter goes out and records herself in the field. And like this reporter sounded like the most valley girl, vocal fry. She was like, and then uh, we went uh, to the like uh, market. Uh, I was like, that damn, get to the point. In any case, she did this thing where she talked to some scientists and they're like, well, you know, like when you eat almonds, Some of them may digest it much less and you poop a lot of them out versus fat is presented as an oil or a butter. So when you read the labels, it's off. And that's why calories in, calories out is inaccurate or doesn't work. And it's like, no, no, that's a calorie label problem and a food processing problem. Those calories, that doesn't mean into your mouth. It means into your system. Most of what you eat in your mouth ends up in the system, a huge fraction of it, but with some foods, it's a little less and more than you would expect. So it turns out that, I don't know of anyone that had trouble losing weight because they were eating nuts and didn't know about it or something, but on the margins, there are little idiosyncrasies you can point out. They do not refute Kaiko. They just say that, well, calories in means calories in processed by the system, and if you're pooping them out, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out like, well, yeah, except for the stuff you poop out. So theoretically, there's no problem with calories in, calories out. And a lot of people will misconstrue body composition changes for first law of thermodynamics violations. They say, well, look, you're saying calories in, calories out works. Explain this. I ate a super keto diet with tons of veggies and lean meats. Uh Uh-huh. I started at 200 pounds. Uh Uh-huh. And I ended at 200 pounds, except I was shredded and more jacked. Like, I got you. Did you start TRT? Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Okay. Did you start lifting weights? Six times a week, man. RP hypertrophy app. Like, oh, my man, a satisfied customer. Thank you so much, sir. You built a bunch of muscle and burnt a bunch of fat. Your mass is still the same because you were eating at maintenance. And they're like, oh, yeah, all right. So I guess Kaiko really is real. Bring it in, baby. We hugged it out. Ended up being like, you know, when you pull away from a hug and both of you catch eyes for a sec and you had this thing where you're like, well, we shouldn't, we shouldn't kiss. <laughs> it would be, that would be crazy. It would be crazy if we just made out right now. It would be crazy if we held each other just for a little second longer than society wants us to, you know? <laughs> that would be nuts. Why would we do that? So him and I had that little dynamic and. He was a good man. Jesus, he was so good. Scott, you remember Frank? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't call him Scott the video guy for nothing. Mm-hmm. He was in the video industry a long time. Exercise videos do not impress Scott the video guy. He's seen a lot through that lens. In any case, the TLDR of all this is people get the calories inside wrong with bad assumptions. They get the state transformations in the body wrong, muscle and fat and vice versa, and they get the out wrong because they misestimate their activity in thermogenesis and hormonal burning. Kaiko is as real as it gets, but in the real world of assumption and measurement, um, sometimes you got to be patient to see it working out, and you have to make sure that your assumptions are what they are. Be patient, plug in the right calories. If after a few weeks you don't see the changes, don't think Kaiko doesn't work. Just lower or raise your calories to what you think they should be to make your weight go up or down, and you've got a winning formula. And hey, before I leave, when you have an opportunity to come in for that second hug and and make the grand gesture, do it. You can only love truly once in your life. Am I supposed to say something at the end of this video? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Scott, the video guy. Subscribe if you want to be in our members channel because we got tons of great videos. Team Full Rom Forum, that's a thing. And uh, the RP Hypertrophy app, it's coming.
unless it's already here. Scott, when are we releasing this video? Um, the, the app will be out. The app will be out. I hope you're enjoying the app. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Bullshit. Lying. See you later.